Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering, analytics, and visualization with Alteryx and Spotfire. You can find my site at the URL shown on the screen. Please click the subscribe button in YouTube to subscribe to my channel and be notified of all future video updates. This week, I worked with our production team to create a downtime dashboard. This dashboard only brings in allocated data, which has a two-day lag. It makes sense to include the date of the most recent data in the visualization title, like I've done here. Now, it would be really awesome if we could use data from columns to update visualization titles or even custom expressions, but we can't. However, we can update titles with the value from document properties. That means we just need to calculate the desired value and pass it to a document property. This task can be accomplished with Terra, JavaScript, or Python. The scripting is pretty simple in each of these languages, but Python and Terra data functions will run upon opening the file, whereas JavaScript might require a trigger, so I stayed away from it. So first I'm going to show you the script, and then I'll go through all the steps you need to make this happen. So to get to the script, we'll go to the data menu and data function properties. You can see I've already created it, but if you're creating from scratch, you'll click the register new button. Let's go take a look at my script. As you can see, it's super simple. It's only three lines of code. First, I create an object called today to store the system time. Note that the Spotfire data function framework always returns the result from a call to sysTime with date time. That means that you must write the result to a document property that is a date time. In my first attempt, my document property was a date and that failed. And I confirmed that this was the case with Spotfire support. Next, I create two more objects called two day lag and one day lag to store my calculated values. These values are generated by subtracting two, two days and one day respectively from the today object. The diff time function calculates the difference in time between two dates or date time objects. However, in this case, I wanted to subtract two days from a single date time object, so I used as diff time. The blog post has a link to an explanation of diff time if you want to learn more. Now, my data function doesn't need any input parameters, but I do need to create two output parameters that are of the type value. When you're creating this from scratch, you'll be prompted to save, which will run the data function, and then you'll be asked to map your output parameters to your data. So again, we have nothing in input, and if we go to the output, you can see that I'm connecting two day lag and one day lag to the document properties that I've created. And again, remember these need to be date time. Now, once the data function runs, you'll need to connect the document property to your title. So to do that, you go into Properties, the General menu, and you'll want to click Edit in the Title section. Here you'll have a list of document properties, and you just need to find your document properties and insert them into the title expression, and you're done. Your document properties will update any time the data function is refreshed, including when the file is opened. And again, you can find step-by-step -step instructions in the blog post. Now you know how to calculate values and send them to document properties. In this example, we use them in titles, but of course, they can be used in many different places. That wraps up this week's post. Hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me, and I'll see you next week.